Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. Today I'm going to build a, a 747-400 from uh, Dragon on scale 144 and I will build it with the cutaway shape. So let's open the kit and discover it together. So we have a lot of sprues in that kit and what I will do initially the first sprue is about the interior of the aircraft, so I will have to repaint everything and uh, get everything uh, ready for that uh, build. So, we have another sprue with uh, clear parts, and basically, this is all the opening on the side of the aircraft. There will be also some opening on the, the wing, as you can see the, on the lower part and of course engines and stabilizer. So I will use those later on and of course we have the cockpit window. So now let's move on to the uh, other sprues. So we have our uh, basically open fuselage and I will do some parts of it and of course there will be some sanding and masking tape. Uh, that part includes two doors as well who can be uh, showed as open. Let's move further up. Now the following sprue is about the stabilizer who is composing two parts and as you can see here we will have the options to show all uh, the structures basically and of course on the left wing we'll have the same options. You also have the uh, undercarriage and I think uh, well they are pretty gross so I'll have to do a little bit of uh, rework on that to get some uh, extra details. So, now we have the lower part of the wings, uh, all the structure lines have been, and the panel lines have been, uh, have been pretty, uh, they are pretty designed, but pretty rough side, but we're going to be able to work this out, I'm sure. And we have uh, the upper side of uh, the stabilizer. We have also uh, some of our wheels, so we have our 18 wheelers. Now, let's move further up. Here are all the back of the different seats that we have, so that's on the two different sprues and of course there will be a lot of painting and uh, jiggling to get uh, the proper colors, but uh, very challenging at the end. And uh, let's keep moving. So these are also some other uh, seats that we have, seems like uh, they look like more comfortable, so there would be some business class or first class seats and some economy classes, I can see that there is a, a four row on some, some, some parts. Now, let's see what are the options. So that are our engines. Of course, you also have the options to design a part uh, of the interior of the engines, but most probably I will, uh, I will skip this part and uh, I will see if I will use some other decals or other parts. Now, here is the uh, engine mount for uh, all our four engines. And some more details. So we have the stairs, some gear doors, we will go lock lower part, and some containers that we can show uh, later on. So, this is our final screw. And here we have basically uh, one little personage or one person's and that seems as it was done for Air China it should be the Chinese president. So let's finish this. Now the last part of course is uh, the other side of the fuselage which is completely closed as you can see. Now let's move on to the uh, instruction sheet. It's uh, a booklet with two pages basically on A4 format. So you will have all the list of the sprue and the parts that are included in the kit. And of course it's pretty straightforward I have to say when you regard all the instruction sheet uh, for building this kit. And of course the decal sheet. So decal sheet are made for a plane from Air China and uh, seems to be that is the Chinese government uh, aircraft. And a last part is some decals for the cockpit 
instrument panel on that 747. The kit comes with a pretty nice stand. Uh, basically, you have the options of putting those together and uh, get them with some screws. And it's, uh, it's a pretty nice one, actually. So you also have the opportunity and the options to put that uh, kit in flight. So for that aircraft, I decided to, uh, to make another challenge. And that challenge will be to build that aircraft. And I decided to use the decal of my uh, previous Revel 747-400 aircraft. So I will use it and I will use the Iron Maiden uh, Air Force One World Tour on the 747. So I'm going to use these decals and actually I have to say that they are really, really nicely printed and very nice detailed. So I will use this and of course I have all the information I will need to do that. I use some internet pictures to have the interior colors of the aircraft and I will design this soon. So enough of talking and let's start building. So we are going to start to uh, prepare the interior part and the clear part uh, of the aircraft first. And then uh, what we are going to do, we are going to paint the opposite side basically of the, of the aircraft. So for this, I will use a standard uh, white color as I check uh, on the picture. And then I will paint the carpet of the aircraft in a uh, light blue color for uh, both deck, the upper deck and the lower deck. Then I will use some uh, green color, basically the green factory color, uh, to do the structures of the wings and uh, the horizontal stabilizer. And once uh, the paint is it will be dry, I will have to cover it with masking tape to be able to paint the uh, upper side of the seats and the side basically of the seats, but you will see that uh, a little bit uh, later on. So uh, shortly after that, I realized as well that I had to paint the radome, uh, basically the weather radar, and there is a panel between the radar. So I had to fill the gaps and let it dry, of course, and uh, get it painted as well. After this, I will also do uh, the protection uh, of the carpet on the upper deck and I will put uh, the separation door as well as uh, the cockpit has a different color as uh, this uh, light blue. Basically the cockpit will be in a beige color so I have to prepare everything to uh, get the proper uh, shape and uh, the proper colors all over the place. Then uh, what I was doing is I was uh, making some marks to start painting as well the, the cockpit itself. So I had to put some masking tape uh, again uh, on the other side. And of course around uh, the nose cone as the nose cone uh, will have that uh, green uh, color. So after that what I will do, I will prepare the overhead bin. So I will assemble them, of course uh, glue them together and uh, fill the gaps and uh, a little bit of uh, sanding later on. Now we'll take uh, the uh, other side of uh, the floors and as you can see uh, we still have the print and uh, big gaps for the cockpit and the seat themselves so they will appear below unfortunately so I had to fill them up. Uh, initially I used uh, some uh, putty and also I add some weights by adding some uh, modding paste. Then I finish to prepare uh, all uh, the masking tape because the underbelly will be in uh, grey or uh, grayish or metallic color, so that's what I had to do. Then what I did is uh, I took some marks and some print and uh, using some epoxy putty, I did the side panel uh, within the cockpit of that 74. So we have the uh, upper uh, panel and of course there was uh, a cupboard when you can see uh, on some of those pictures. So I tried to replicate this using uh, some uh, sharp tools of course and uh, some, uh, some, uh, some knives. So as you can see here, I used some pictures and uh, you can see on the left, on the top left corner basically all the, the cupboards and, and the opening. So I replicate this now with a sharp uh, pen or a, a scalpel uh, blade and uh, with a little bit of time and patience we can uh, get everything into shape.
to go back to the paint booth. This time I will uh, start painting uh, basically the side of uh, the seat with a grey colour and that basically is the structure of the seat itself. So uh, after that of course I will let it dry and I will have to put paint the cushion later on uh, with a nice uh, dark uh, blue colour which is the, the best I could do to replicate uh, the pattern on their seats. So uh, I also use a beige colour for the cockpit uh, as it was uh, in uh, the pictures and of course I use the back of the seat, I use that uh, dark blue uh, colour which is basically uh, X3 from Tamiya. I was not very happy with the detail provided by the container on the skit, so I decided to add some more. So what I did, I used some pictures on the internet and I used some plastic cards to reinforce basically the structure of uh, the container itself. So later on you will see also some uh, details that I added after painting. What I also had to do is I used some modeling paste on the front containers of the aircraft that I could add some more weight and I would avoid the aircraft to sit on its uh, tail. Time to go back to the paint booth. This time I will paint uh, the ceiling of uh, the 747. So for this I use the standard uh, X2 uh, white color from uh, Tamiya and uh, that's uh, a glossy white. I will also have to paint uh, the container and for this I will use a regular uh, aluminium uh, paint from Tamiya and uh, after uh, letting it dry I will add some more details. So what I did now is, uh, as I was mentioning, I didn't have any uh, decal paper, so I just used uh, a regular uh, printer, find some uh, pictures of container, print them out and uh, basically uh, cut out all the details and uh, glue them nicely, as those parts are mainly hidden from, uh, from the side. Inside the front part of the container you can't see much of those details, so that doesn't have really a very big importance. So uh, we continue on that and I will do uh, all the container for uh, the aircraft. Then of course I had to glue them on, the, on that uh, part and uh, for this I used some uh, modeling paste on the front container and uh, the other one where uh, the back container went. Now we're gonna start uh, building uh, the galley of uh, that 747 and uh, we're gonna get into the the real business of preparing all the seats as well. So initially what I did is I built all the galley, toilets and the structure basically of the lower cabin. And then I start to paint all the curtains. So for these I use a beige color again uh, as I could see on the pictures. And of course I was using all the time some uh, big pictures I could find on the internet. So uh, some are details, some are not. And there is also a bit of guessing on the the outcome and the result of what you can find. So after that, what I did is I start to paint the cushion, basically of the of the seat. So for this, I use a hand a paintbrush, and uh, I use that uh, royal blue X3 color from Tamiya. After that, I had to uh, prepare the back of the seat, and of course prepare the parts one by one. And then uh, I had to paint basically the structure of the seat itself. So I had to do that for every little seat as you can see and that was quite time consuming but at the end I was pretty happy about uh, the outcome. So uh, once uh, I finish this uh, there is also some protection on the back seats so on the headrest so I had to paint them as well one by one. So uh, I will finish up all the all the economy class seating and then of course we have to uh, do them uh, all together.
So another interesting part on the, that aircraft was the stairs to go to the upper deck. So uh, there was no handrail, so I had to uh, scratch build basically all the handrails. So I used some plastic cards and I did some marks basically to put uh, those handrails. Then uh, I used a rescribing tool to uh, put all the cupboards that we have. So uh, then I put uh, one by one all the little parts for the, for the handrails, glue it together, let it dry and then of course I had to do some uh, repainting a little bit later on. Now time to add some details to our cockpit. So for that I will use the decal for the panel and for that I had to use a little bit of uh, those um, softening uh, decal solution as there was a lot of uh, engravement and I was trying to have the, the decal matching all the surface. After that of course uh, once uh, everything was set I start to paint uh, basically the seats uh, yoke and of course I had to add some uh, details uh, to some panels because to some extent the decal were good but there was not a lot of details so uh, I had some more and then I uh, also paint the seat belt the harness and uh, all the remaining parts uh, on the cockpit back to our uh, stairs and handrail so I will uh, finish to uh, glue the handrail uh, on the stairs and while uh, this is drying I'll start to paint uh, our business class seat uh, for the front uh, cabin part of that 747 so now what I will do is I will uh, replicate and paint basically the stairs in that uh, same uh, colors uh, using that uh, X4 paint which is the light uh, blue color and then I will do some touch-up on the bottom of the of the cabin as well using the same color. So uh, therefore, I'm using always uh, a paintbrush. Now uh, I'm gonna paint the handrail into a metallic color, and then uh, it will be time to uh, let it sit and uh, stick it to our uh, aircraft. So now let's get back to our business class seats. I will now paint basically uh, all the structure and the armature of. Uh, those uh, seats. I will use for that uh, a grey paint and I use my own uh, my own mix which is uh, basically a light grey and some uh, white color. So uh, for this I will do uh, all the armrest and, uh, and the headrest as well and uh, then I will have to uh, readjust the blue paint as uh, some of the paint uh, spreaded a little bit too much uh, on those sides. So let's go on the finishing part of uh, that uh, cabin. So I will uh, now put all the business class seats uh, on the front cabin part and on the upper deck. And uh, for that I use normally uh, a standard uh, needle uh, revel glue, uh, which normally fit all the purposes. So after adding uh, all those seats, I will have also to do a little bit of a paint touch up on the floor to make sure that uh, everything is uh, done the correct way. Now what I will do is I will add some uh, some billboard and some magazine that I found on the internet. Print them at the correct size, basically, and uh, put them on the on the cabin walls, as it is normally on the, most of the aircraft and the airliners. So for this, I use just a standard uh, white glue and some printed uh, papers that I did uh, in the past. And then uh, we're gonna finalize our uh, cabin now. So we're gonna glue both sides together, and this will conclude the part one of the video. So I hope you enjoyed that video with me, if you did so give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon for the part 2 of that 747B.
Thank you for watching.